Mitch. 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 Mm. You're waking up. I've made coffee. I can't believe this is our final morning of this trip and we are back where we started which you wouldn't have seen last night because it was pitch black when we got here and we had to put up the tent but yeah we've made it back to where we spent the first night which feels kind of surreal not gonna lie I did not sleep well at all you can really tell I couldn't get to sleep and then I couldn't stay asleep and then I've been up early this morning as well Hence me trying to wake Mitch up because I've already started packing my bag and thankfully we came back to this place one because um, the people who host this on Bunker Biker are so lovely and two because we knew that they had this set up as well in here but it's just meant that we've been able to put all of our stuff in here rather than in the tent because of the rain yesterday everything did get wet so it's been nice that we've been able to put everything in here and also also I mean I didn't realize this at the time but it was great that fact that we came back and they have this which they had here the, the first time full-on camping gas stove so I've just been able to make us a coffee without trying to faff with our stove so I'm very grateful for that this morning it's currently about quarter to eight. We need to have left here by half eight to make all the timings for today. So hence me being up and my brain being busy. And yeah, I can't believe that when we first arrived here, I wondered about the memories that we'd create along the trip. And now we're here all this time later and we've got them all. It's crazy, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking and feeling a lot this morning. But come on, Mitch, your coffee's gonna go cold. Uh. I was thinking to myself while we were packing up then, how far we've actually come in terms of our experience. Not that we're experts at camping now, but we're certainly experts at our equipment we only had 30 minutes to put all that away and neither of us were stressed about it at all which just shows how far it's how, like how much it's changed if we had 30 minutes before well we would have been very very late i think it took about three times as long as that to start off with but yeah it's uh it's great to see my gloves are still nice and wet from yesterday yeah mine are wet as well <laughs> but at least it's sunny I've got no fuel. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my god, that didn't even sound good. These poor bikes need a holiday. That's it, our last camp spot. All done and dusted in this trip. This is the one time where we had cash that we needed to use at a petrol station. This is our fourth petrol station that we've just been. The ones that do have a shop didn't have uh, petrol. And then the ones that do, don't. So we've got 50 euros that we wanted to spend on fuel. <laughs> We can't, it's not the end of the world, but we haven't got time to be faffing today. 
You can probably tell by Mitch's eyes this morning that this ride home was pretty hard work and we've definitely learned a lot from this trip of what we did and didn't enjoy and how we can make our lives better on our next adventure. We'll go into more specifics on our stretch back home on English soil and also give you a brief rundown on how much we spent on this trip in case it's something that you fancy having a go at yourself. It's also worth noting that this trip wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Bikeshaw, a specialist motorcycle insurance broker who kept us covered through their 90 day European cover on this trip. Trip. From the second we got off the ferry to Calais to now riding through the last rainstorm of this trip, it was so reassuring knowing that even when we were far away from home, we still had the best cover possible. Bikeshore prides themselves on ensuring motorbike riders from every walk of life. Even when other companies struggle, they'll find a policy for you. Whether you have a sports bike, Chinese scooter, moped, classic bike, modified bike, or even something totally off the wall, Bikeshore can help. They also understand that your bike is an important part of your life. I mean, especially for us when you're living on it day in, day out. Bikeshore share the same passion as most of their staff are genuine bike enthusiasts or owners, which from personal experience makes such a difference when you ring them for a motorcycle insurance quote. I'll leave a link at the top of the description so that if you're looking at doing a similar trip to us or are in the market for motorcycle insurance, then you can give Bikeshore a call and they'll be able to tailor a quote to you. Bonjour. Hello. Uh. What's that? <laughs> Thank you. Which ferry are you booked on? Uh, the twelve o'clock one. Yeah. Pardon? Uh, yes. Do you have a booking number? Because I can't find you with your name. Um, my, oh, Martha, what's my booking number? Um, four four seven seven six six eight nine. Tell me my booking number, please. Ready? Uh, no, me and him. Yeah. Uh, four, four, seven, seven, six, six, eight, nine. Seven, seven, six, six. Oh, seven, eight, four. Nine. No, seven, oh. four. Oh, seven, sorry, that's seven, mine. four at the end. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, it's a Honda. Thank you. Can I Thank you. Thank you. They were very nice. That was so hard because I had you and then her and then I was trying to had too many people trying to talk. Are you alright? Right, lane 104. Oh my god, that is making me so anxious. <laughs> it's gonna fly away. Look, look at me, can you see? I've had to put my helmet on one handed and my <laughs> buckles up here, it's killing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 104. Good damage. Oh, we're in the same line as these. Oh, people are boarding. Oh. Oh, this is the ferry. I didn't. Even, honestly, I'm that tired. I didn't even notice there was a ferry in front of us then. Which departure is that? So is that the midday? Yeah. Yeah, twelve o'clock. You've got some more motorbike over there. If you could uh, join them over there. Sir. Yeah. All right. Oh, are we joining all the bikes? Yeah. Always got TRF stickers. Bonjour. Thank you.
no. Do not do a wheelie. Oh man. This one not like used to this. When we did the first ferry, we didn't have a clue what was going on and now I could basically just drive the boat. What? Oh no, we're gonna have to stop on here. Oh no, we're not. Sort there, Mom. Yeah. Oh, he's going there, right? Okay. Oh, wait. What, what, mate? I oh, know. I'll just go there. I know. Look at me next to these boys. <laughs> Looks like mine shrunk. Oh, back on British soil, mate. We've actually put our waterproofs on because we're back in England and that's one place where you know that rain is predicted. We've dried off a little bit, thankfully, and uh, yeah. Five hours. Do you want to come in front? Condo. Just look well nip through here, same as these. Yeah. We don't have much luck with customs, so uh, yeah, it's good lad. Hey, he was the one that pulled us in last time. He was, wasn't he? Surely not. He was, but I swear on my life, he was the one. And then the wanted to drill a hole in the floor of our van because they thought we were stashing cocaine in the floor. <laughs> Little did they know, it was in the roof! <laughs> Guys, we're getting free fuel. Sort of. <laughs> it's only £1.44 per litre, which... Oh gosh, we've not had it that cheap since we left. We couldn't remember how much it was when we left. But wow. I'm happy about that. The last fuel stop of the trip completed. I'm really interested to know how much we've spent on this trip. I don't even want to hazard a guess. But uh, leave your uh, predictions down below and maybe I'll, if I've worked it out by the time this is edited, I'll also let you know how much it has cost us for f five weeks, two days of the trip. So here we go. I did work it out, so I'll tell you now. One, because that clip segues nicely into this voiceover, and two, because of the fact we didn't talk much on the way home, because Mitch was just moaning constantly about how bad the motorways are in England. But anyway, we spent 38 days on the road, including a 30 hour ferry and over 10,000 kilometers of riding through one of the most expensive places in the world. 29 nights out of the 37 we spent in the tent with four nights in Airbnbs, one night in a hotel and two on the ferry. We were worried to work out this figure because we chose not to track how much we spent each day and just got by knowing we had a low budget for our own sanity. So all in all, it cost us as a pair 3,164 Great British Pounds, which works out to £83 a day. I know what I think about that figure, but let us know what you think in the comments below. That leads us on to, was it worth it? The struggles, the low points, the close calls. Was switching from our nice warm van to practically carrying everything we own behind our bums? Well, that's a resounding yes. Not only was this our first ever long distance trip on two wheels, but like we said from the start, it was the test to find out what we did and didn't enjoy. We knew it would be tough. We knew it was way out of our budget and we knew there was a chance that we'd make a mistake going into this with such little experience. And obviously we made 
made a lot of mistakes right from the start, but that's allowed us to learn so much in such a short space of time and we know what will be different on the next adventure. There's no doubt that this is the most lifetime memories we have ever made in such a short space of time. And also just another quick reminder that we also plotted this whole trip on an interactive map with loads of information, including every camp spot, supermarket, fuel stop, water fill up, scenic viewpoints, plus so much more. It's all on there, including a free digital guide with all of our top tips as well. It will save you so much time, even if you travel to a part of one of the three countries we visited. And it's a great way to support us and get something in return. So what's next? Well, to say the wheels are already in motion is an understatement. And next Sunday, we will have a video out revealing it all. We love this trip way more than we could have ever imagined. And it's opened up a long list of adventures that we hope will take place for many years to come. A like, sharing our channel to a friend and subscribing will all help that become a reality. Thank you so much for the support on this trip and we can't wait to show you what's next. Mm -hmm. That was the little while away, not you.